Hi guys, I'm Ricky Verma, the CEO of Nexus Green, and I'm gonna take you through my journey on how I brought solar to East Africa. From this, from the old office, let me take you to the brand new Nexus Green office, come on in. I started Nexus Green officially around about six years ago. And we started it here in the Pearl of Africa in Uganda with a $1.6 million project in Kololo, which is in Kampala uh, for half a megawatts with batteries. And uh, it's one of my trophy projects. There's some great talent here. And you know, we're lucky enough to have some of the best talent here in Uganda and Nexus Green. So that way we mitigate you know, the kind of like stop-start approach. So we've got some continuity. As you can see, the guys are busy. Good morning, everyone. We're doing the chain link here. So this goes to all our sites for the Ministry of Water project, empowering so many farmers across the country. There's never been a company like Nexus Green to professionalize this sector. So we've basically brought in really good product, really good warranties, but our aftercare is second to none. I make everything look really easy, because I simplify it. But can I be honest with you, it, it was so difficult. I came into the sector, the only thing I knew about solar when I started this business was the solar on my Casio calculator. And then over time, and sitting with engineers and you know really understanding the market we managed to become the number one solar company now in uganda and in the top five in east africa when we started this business you know it was a real shock to the system on how big I mean, look, we got our first, our first project with Nexus Green was 1.6 million. I mean, I don't think any other company when they start out as a startup gets a, an opportunity that size. We did a phenomenal job. And from there, now we've gone from 1.6 to 100 million and we're growing every year. We have five offices across the country. So where we are, we're at the head office in, in Kampala. Then we have four offices regionally. So we have just shy now of under 80 direct employed and then indirectly, it must be in the hundreds now, uh, especially with all the subcontractors we have. We are blanketed in the country with 687 mini projects concurrently. So it's thousands of people. What I wanted to do is create a, a hub where people would feel safe they would come here, be inspired, and essentially grow within the company. So today, if you're a receptionist and you have ambitions to become you know, a health and safety officer at Nexus Green, we will give you the opportunity. And we also invest in our, in our employees here. So if you feel like you want to uh, take a course, we have um, a system where you, know, you apply for funding within Nexus Green and we will pay for your course and for me that's really important because I want to see like a really low turnover of staff because that is an indicator for me that people are happy to work here. Uh, from a boss standpoint I want to see performance, I really want to see some push so I create a, a, an environment where it's a go-go kind of environment but also a place where you can be here in the morning, stay till the evening. We have staff here from 7 in the morning to 8 in the evening, right? So, you know, we provide great breakfast, great lunch. I have a gourmet chef here, you know, and when we move into, you know, the, the new premises, which will be the factory coming up at the end of this year, there's going to be a pool table, there's going to be a gym. It's going to be awesome. And hopefully, you know, we can um, get some more people coming in through the door to be part of Nexus Green's journey. I got into business because of freedom. My inspiration in business was my mum and dad. Uh, they came from very humble beginnings and they have created you know, a, a nice little empire for themselves. And my father showed me a stack of cash once and said, this is freedom. 
And I didn't quite understand it until he told me that no one will tell you what to do when you make your own money. And that is the truth of the matter. I have meetings with top management. I have a lot of finance meetings. I look at all the procurement um, as that's one of my specialties of seeing, are we getting the best value for money? Uh, I do a lot of firefighting. Every day there's always something going wrong and I'm always getting dragged into it because end of the day, the way I think is from an operational standpoint, it's really clear. You know, we see the problem. It's not about, you know, completely talking about the problem. All the time. It's all about the, you know, what's the solution. And I'm, I'm good at problem solving and logistics. I, I can pivot really quickly. I used to pack pot noodles in my suitcase, bring it to Uganda because that's all I could afford. And KFC on a Friday uh, was our treat. And so, uh, you know, you, you budget. I mean, now, you know, like I said, you know, once you make some considerable amount of money, it gives you freedom, it allows you to do what you want. Um, but, I, you know, I always think back to how I used to be because that grounds me. And I think some people get complacent, especially when you have a startup that's gone from zero to 100 in a very short period of time. We're like probably one of the few companies that have gone from 1 million to 100 million in revenue in a, in, within you know, a lifespan of six years. And we're still growing. So I go back and me and Jude still look at all the pictures. And I think having those pictures, especially the picture that you see regarding our first office, that will always ground you. So we never ever get complacent. It makes you actually more hungry. We are going to do another phase of what we're doing now with the Ministry of Water and blanket another 700 sites across the country. Uh, we're doing the largest dam in Karamoja, which is a multi-purpose dam. We're doing that with another company. And my C&I business, that's the most exciting business part, like that sector, the private sector, is really exciting for me because I'm a salesman. So we're growing that business really nicely. Uh, we've just done Nissan uh, here in Uganda. Uh, we're doing some lodges. And um, it's, it's just like people are coming to us. We're the number one solar company in Uganda and everyone wants that professionalism. And we're not just doing it for the sake of like, here, here's some solar. We actually want them to save considerable money on their energy bills and also contribute to the, you know, to, to the initiative of going green. What I do here at Nexus Green, apart from doing all the sales, because you know, coming, I'm gonna come across as being really money oriented. It's not about that, it's about building like, you know, like Lego, building blocks. And that's what I'm trying to do. So the more sales we get, the more revenue comes in, and then we can build you know, the Nexus Green into a conglomerate and one day be the number one solar company in the whole of East Africa. When you sell something, there's an attachment to it, which is money. Sell me this. You want me to sell you this? Okay, can you cut me a piece of that fruit? I can. No, you can't, you need this. Thanks guys for watching my first YouTube video, uh, very daunting, but this is a journey for everyone to be inspired. I've come from UK to Uganda not knowing anyone to building the number one solar company in Uganda and one day in East Africa. And if you're watching, bosses, buy solar from Nexus Green, the number one company in Uganda. So don't forget, share, like and subscribe. God bless you.